all to my channel is this your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in this tutorial we are going to making a simple video on how to cut and sew your bralette so what are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve this your bra cup and your waist measurement so basically if your size or your bust size falls between size 6 to size 8 you should use 10 by 10 inches for your bra cup and if your bust size falls from size 8 to size 10 you should use 10 by 10 inches now for size 10 to size 12 you make it of 11 by 11 inches now i know you might want to ask me that you know where will i know where my size falls and all of that i have a detailed tutorial on size charts i'm going to go ahead and link that here please go ahead and check it out in order for you to know your size i also have the printable form of size charts every designer should have which is available if you're interested in getting yours all you have to do is send me a message check out the description box for more details and contact at us and we are going to get it delivered to you so with that now of course i have 10 by 10 inches for my bust points and my waist measurements is 32 inches this style is a beauty okay <laughs> So let's go ahead now, you know, and calculate the measurements. So the only thing we basically need to calculate is our waist measurements. We've said that our waist measurement is 32 inches. Now, all you are going to do now is to add inches to your waist measurements in order for you to be able to tie this to give it like a style at the back, basically. That is just the essence of this waist measurement. So the number of inches you add to this totally depends on, you know, how much fabric you want to have in order for you to tie it to give it like different styles at the back. So for me now, I'm going to add about 8 inches to my waist measurement so that I can have enough fabric to tie at the back, okay? So now my waist is 32 plus 8 inches, I have 40 inches. Now, the waist width, the waist width, that is the wideness of your waistband, the wideness of your waistband depends on you. So for me now, I'm going to make it of 4 inches because I want the band to be very bold. However, you can make it of 2 inches if you want a tiny band. You can make it of 5 inches, you can make it of 3 inches. It all depends on how wide you want your band to be or how it all depends on how wide you want your band to be or how tiny you want your band to be so for me now for my band width i'm going to make it of four inches so now my band i'm going to have four inches for the width of my band that is how big i want my waistband to be so i'm going to cut out four inches by 40 inches for my waistband why for the bra cup i'm going to have 10 inches by 10 inches now another thing i'm also going to add to this measurement now is your stripes now what this basically means is what is going to connect your bra cup to your shoulder that is your stripes so you're going to connect it and note that you know your stripes also should also be long because you're basically going to tie this strap at your back and you want to style it in different ways so the number of inches you have for your stripes totally depends on how much you want to have to tie across your back area so that also depends on you that's why i said for this topic it just depends on how you know you want to style it how you want to rock it and it's actually so cute so for me now for the length of my straps i'm going to make it of 14 inches for the length i'm going to make it of 14 inches i'm going to make it of 14 inches for the length why for the wideness of the stripes it's just like your bra stripe so it's actually it's just like your bra stripe because what you want to achieve is your bra length. So the bra stripes is always very tiny. One inch, one and a half inches is fine for your bra stripe. Except you want to have like a very fast bra stripe. Then you can go ahead with two inches. But basically, every lady loves to rock a tiny bra stripe. So your bra stripe should be tiny just to give it like a little form of sexiness. Okay? So now for the wideness of the stripe, I'm going to have two inches. By the time I'm done sewing it, I'm going to have one inch. 
so for the brush stripes now i'm going to have 14 by 2 while for the waistband i'm going to have 40 by 4 and for my bra cup i'm going to have 10 by 10 so these are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve your bra if you have any question in the course of this tutorial please go ahead and put that down in the comment section or any topic you want us to make a video on let me know in the comment section what will you be rocking your bra let's with go ahead and put that down in the comment section now let's move to the cutting part of this tutorial so guys we want to cut out you know bralettes we want to cut our bralettes so now let me set this aside so this is what i have i have two pieces of this i have two pieces of this and the length of these two pieces now i have 10 inches by 10 i have 10 inches by 10 this is what i have for you know two pieces now you can either turn this with your lining or you turn it with your fabric so if you want to turn it with your fabric it simply means that you're going to have four pieces of this right so you're going to have 10 inches by 10 both for your lining and both for the main fabric but I am basically making use of my fabric to turn it so that is why you have four pieces but if you want to use like a lining to turn it these two pieces here will serve as your lining so now this is what I have this is the main bust right the first thing you are going to do is to fold this your fabric in a triangular form this way is to fold this in a triangular shape right just fold your fabric in a triangular shape this way once you fold it once you fold it, this is what you are going to have. Then you take this edge and place it this way, smoothing it up. You can see and go ahead and cut this out. So once you cut it out, this is what we are going to have. You set that aside. You also take the second piece. Take the second piece, fold it in a triangular shape, right? Fold it in a triangular shape this way. Take this edge, take this edge, and then fold it this way, smoothing it up. By the time you open it, it's going to have like a line. So you basically just cut out the line. So this is what it's going to look like. You can see that we have two pieces already now set that aside like i said earlier i am making use of the fabric for my lining so i'm cutting out the lining now so if you're making use of your lining at this point you should cut this out as your lining so fold your fabric in a triangular shape fold the edge this way smoothing it up so that you can have the line and then you go ahead and cut this out so you have three pieces now fold your second lining you know in a triangular shape you can see fold the edge this way smoothing it up so that you can have that straight line and then you go ahead and cut this out so by the time you are done you should have four pieces of this you should have four pieces of this so let's go ahead now and you know place them on each other this way place your lining and your fabric on each other place your lining and your fabric on each other this is what it's going to look like so now we want to couple this up so what you are going to do now is to fold this is what it looks like right so go ahead now and fold it into two once you fold this into two you basically go ahead and stitch this part so you are starting from this edge this edge you stitch it here and then you stitch this open part so this is where you are stitching this open part and this edge once you've done that this is what is going to look like once you are done stitching this is what is going to look like this is a sample of what is going to look like so i will go ahead now and do that for the three pieces and show you guys what it looks like so another thing now you need to cut out is your band you need to cut out your band right so the wideness of the band depends on how wide you want it to be so for me i have six inches once i fold it into two this way i'm going to have three inches and after stitching it i will have two 
and a half inches now for the length of your band basically you use your waist measurement so my waist measurement is 32 i went ahead to add about five inches to this right i went ahead to add about five inches to this so the reason why i added about five inches to this is so that one i can fix in my elastic you know at the waist side because i want it to have like an elastic effect at the lower side so you can fix in your elastic if that's what you want at the lower side or you know you can still tie this it depends on what you want either you want to tie it up or you want to fix in your elastic so basically your waist measurements and you add as many inches as possible it depends on what you want for your band you have to cut out now is the stripes basically the next thing we need to cut out now is the stripes so the wideness of these stripes i have two pieces for one part of the bust and the second part of the bust so the wideness of these stripes now is three inches by the time i am done folding it i'm going to have about one inch left now for the length of my stripe i have about 20 inches for the length because just if like you have enough stripe so that you can tie this across your neck or you can style it you know whichever way you want so i have 20 inches for the stripes by three so let's go ahead now and couple this up so guys now we've gone ahead to so guys this is what it looks like right we've gone ahead now to stitch this part round and we've also stitched this part so by the time you open this up you know this is what you are going to have so i'm doing this for one bust this is what you're going to have so one piece is going to serve as the bust and you can see like placing it on each other already beside each other so guys after stitching this part you've gone ahead now to stitch this you've also gone ahead to stitch this part the next thing you are going to do now is to go ahead and open this up so by the time you open this up you can see the shape of your bra already you can see how you know it looks you can see the shape coming out already so the next thing i'm going to do now is i'm going to go ahead and this is my stripe i've gone ahead to turn up my stripe go ahead and place your strap one piece of your strap to this edge this is the front block place your strap this way and then you take your lining you place your lining on it this way place your lining on it this way and then you go ahead and stitch from this edge to this edge all the way so the only part you're not going to stitch is this lower part once you are done this is what is going to look like after stitching this is what you're going to have you can see that the only part within stitch is this part and then you have your stripes this way so i'll do the same for the second piece so guys this is what it looks like you can see that this is what it looks like and then your stripes is tucked in and that gives like a very nice finishing so the next thing you are going to do now is to fold your band into two right fold your band into two not the midpoint of your band at this midpoint is where you are going to attach your two um, bra okay at this midpoint is where you are going to attach your two bra and this is what it looks like so basically you are just going to tie this you are going to tie this and you just tie this band also you can style it any way you want right and this is what the bra looks like so i'm going to be rocking this on a pleated skirt let me know what you will rock yours with so thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe i'll see you guys in my next one bye